Okay, so now maybe you're ready to laser cut your floor. So uh, try to keep your objects organized. I have the whole tower here, which you probably don't have, and that's fine. Uh, so I'm just going to turn off anything extra, the lobby, the gym, everything extra, turn all off. So I'm interested in doing my, my main sky home, not the copied ones. So if I just turn all those off, I'm down to my original floor that I designed as an example. Okay, so you can now laser cut any of these, the floor and the walls, even the windows if you want, but I would start with the floor. So my recommendation is to turn off everything you don't need. So that being the walls, the doors, windows, and, and the bed. So that right there is what I want to laser cut first. And it's really easy. Just go create sketch, hit anywhere in the surface um, and use project geometry, which is under create and it's project. The shortcut is P, which I recommend you memorize because it'll save you a lot of time. Click anywhere in the gray floor area and the defaults are good. And that's all you really need. And so now that sketch is, is in here. I have a lot of sketches for the whole tower, but it's gonna be the most recent one. It's sketch 101. And I'm going to just save that as a DXF, just like from AutoCAD. Now I'm doing a wall two. No, I'm not on a wall. I'm on a floor. Do the wall next. Wall, floor, cut. Oh, I'm up to example three. Okay. Go over to Laserbox software. Import that DXF for example three. Open it up. And that looks very nice. That is ready for cutting. Uh, in fact, uh, I'll just show you how to do a wall as well. So if I go back to my fusion and I can now turn off the sketch that I was just using for the floor. So that'll disappear and use my slider to go all the way back up. And instead of floor, I'm going to turn the floor off. I do want a wall, which wall. I don't know. I'll just start with one of them. Oh, the walls are off in general. So in fact, you have to turn off all the rest of them, unfortunately. So let's try this wall. This is, oh, perfect. This is my wall that has that main entrance way door. So just repeat, create sketch on the wall itself. Press P for short, click anywhere in the gray area and okay, that's all you need. Then go find the most recent sketch. Hey, it's now it's 102, perfect. Save as a DXF. Uh, this is now a wall. I guess I'm on wall two, sure. And then uh, go into laser box, open up wall two. So depending on the size of the cardboard that you have, you may or may not be able to fit lots of things around. Try to maximize cardboard usage. So in this case, if I rotate this and put it, oops, control Z gets rid of that. Let's get that guy. I can hold shift down and that moves it nice and evenly. I have control. If I don't use shift, it actually makes it nice. Okay, and then uh, if you go to flat surface mode, check the piece of cardboard you have. Um, I currently don't have a piece that was big enough for the wall, so I would do the wall later on a different piece, or if I did have a larger piece, then I could certainly do it. So just please try to maximize cardboard. But for now, I'm gonna get rid of that wall, and I'll just do the floor and the settings that you need. For our cardboard, it's four millimeters thick. That's the most important um, setting of all probably. If, don't make a mistake on that one. You do not need any kind of material selected. You can leave it as uncertified. Uh, the speed, actually, I would recommend, I'm thinking about 15 uh, is probably ideal. Power is 100%, speed 15, and only one pass, one count, one pass through. And then you can send that. And it's only gonna take two, hour, two minutes, 46 seconds. And there it goes.